What is this thing bolted near the door of our garage disposal area in Germany? It's bigger than my fist. It's not a lock? Oh, yeah, that's a very, very good question. Uh, I hope somebody can figure this one out for us. Looks like it would contain keys to other areas for maintenance personnel or emergency services. In the US, we use something called a Knox box. This seems similar. Yes, it's called, uh, well, it's called that. The dumpsters are probably locked to prevent dumpster diving, and this contains the key. Well, that would make sense. I don't understand the problem with dumpster diving. I mean, come on, you threw it away. Let me have your really old bagels. It doesn't matter. What are these aged, four-eyed, mustache metal faces found in a late man's lockbox? What? What a- ooh. Yeah, that's really creepy. Uh, <laughs> I don't like them at all, but I kinda love them. Send Man was born in 1951 and died in 2000. He was born and raised in Rhode Island and moved to Alaska in the 80s. I don't know if it helps, but it does give a timeline. I mentioned where they were found because otherwise I have no idea where they came from. Ah, Google Lens says bottle opener, with double vision because being drunk. One result says double-eyed Pete. Some appear to be painted to look like stereotypical Mexicans and Chinese. This is the answer. They're definitely bottle openers. Why do they have to look so scary? What is the purpose of this little door in the door? Also, does anyone know what this style would be considered? Hmm, the little door in the door. Yeah, it does seem kind of pointless to have that door in the door. It's already a glass door. What is the point of that? Huh, well, let's see if uh, Reddit sleuth figured this out. To talk to somebody without opening the door? That's what I was thinking at first, but it's not wide enough to really be an entry door. It's called a speakeasy. And yes, it's for talking to someone without having to open the door. I don't know why, it just seems kind of pointless. At least to me. I don't know. I'm clearly not the clientele. What is this solid metal object in the wall next to the door? It's located in an old house in the UK and doesn't seem to do anything. Wait, what is that? Hang on. It's like a door stopper. It looks very much like a bell pole that's been painted over. If you scrape the paint of the central knob, I'd expect you to find brass underneath. Solved. I think it is a bell pole. It would make sense. Thanks. Old houses pre-1900s owned by rich people would have had internal bell systems in many rooms so they could summon the help, servants or slaves, to any room. Great. That's cool. What is this thing in a picture of a house for sale in Kauai? Uh, Kauai? I, I don't know what it says. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce everything. Okay, it looks metal and glass, black, oval-shaped, from floor to ceiling, open to floor, an oval on glass on one side. Wow, I don't know why this is written so poorly, but let's take a look. Okay, is it a pneumatic elevator that will suck me up to the second floor? That is really strange looking, though. Looks like like a personal elevator. Solved! I thought it was some sort of elevator, but gave up on that because it looked like a solid floor beneath. They probably just matched it somehow. Thank you for solving this. Yeah, elevator? Column of silence? Ask the agent. Wow, thanks for your help there, random third commenter. What is this concrete feature in the parking lot of an old bread factory? Uh, uh, I don't know, but there's something a little weird about that. Some sort of car elevator? Or, you know what? I wonder if it's a giant scale for some reason. Ah, yep, a scale for trucks. Seems to be an odd spot for it to exist though, right? Old curved carrying case with wooden insert with uh, 15 holes. Blue cover flap with painted Liberty or Death design, 10 inches long, 3 inches tall, feels like a rough canvas material, has a marking under the flap found in an old estate sale. Okay, Liberty or Death. I don't know why this photo just makes it look like a cloth. That's it. But clearly that's not all it is. Is it some sort of stupid cigar holder or something, man? Reenactor's cartridge case. Ah, Revolutionary War reenactor. Cosplayer. A reenactor would burn this as heresy. My clothes pegs are all individually numbered. Why is that? Uh, I don't know. Different models have different numbers, so if they start coming out of the machine messed up, they can hide which mold needs replacing. Okay, clever. I was thinking maybe they were numbered for crafts or something, but your explanation makes perfect sense. It does make a lot more sense that it would be part of the manufacturing process for the sake of quality assurance. White circular hard plastic object. Wife thinks it might be some equipment for knitting? Uh, I mean, I guess. The thing behind it, though, that's called a banana, and we eat it. 
<laughs> Thank you for the scale, by the way. Two of them will hold glow sticks in a globe shape. You can see it here, the bottom one. Oh, well, that's a lot less cool. Actually, it's kind of fun. I love glow sticks. What are those vertical poles in my gothic 19th century house stairway for? Um, if you're running really fast, you can grab onto them and swing around, I guess. To protect the corners of the wall, stuff gets chipped easily and looks worn down. Ah, I agree. If not there, many people will plant their hand on the wall for the final step of the first set, and then as they step up the first step of the next, what? Those add up, making smudges slash marks on the wall. I expect it really saves the paint and cornerstones have these. Okay. Found in the middle of a disc golf course in Colorado. Seems like a glass jar with tubing and a toothbrush taped to it. Nothing in the jar that I could tell. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I really don't like this one. Uh, I hope it's nothing sinister. This is a device for collecting ants or any small bugs. You suck on the end that's just barely inside the lid and use the tube that goes to the bottom of the jar to suck up the critters. Some kid lost this while trying to get ants for his ant farm. Edit. The toothbrush is just there to hold the tube upright and keep it from kinking. Ah, such a strange device. Why does it have to look like that? Pop can sized angry faced plastic lady. Well, that sure was a description. At least you're correct on that description. What the hell's this for? <laughs> Oh, that's great. I see water? Is that what that says on the back there? This is an angry mama, used for cleaning microwaves. Take her hair off and fill to the first line with vinegar, then water. She's microwaved for a few minutes, and the steam that's released through her head holes help loosen dried on crud inside the microwave. Okay, I think I need one of these now. What? That's so cool. We've been using this as a doorstop since I was born. I'm 26. It's about six to seven inches tall and weighs 10 pounds-ish. It's incredibly dense. Uh, yeah, what the hell is, is it radioactive? It looks like what you would place an item on when pressing it in a mechanical press. Some friends suggested something similar. I have a 100 ton press at work, fixing trucks, with a rack of press tools that look just like this. What's this hole in my basement wall for? 1845 house with no chimneys on this side. Well, maybe there was one at some point. I actually have no idea. Coal chute, possibly. I had an old house that had one too. Coal would be delivered into the chute to be put into the furnace. Likely solved. I'll have to do some research for evidence of a coal furnace. I have old registers, but the ducts have all been redone at some point in the past. What's this thing on the wall with a round hole and a small screen inside? Uh, well, that's a very, very good question, isn't it? It's a pool access alarm to detect if the gate door has been left open, mostly so children or pets don't wander in and potentially drown. No idea why it's on your wall. All right, what is, what? What is this thing I found in my shower drain while clearing a clog? Bronze part is metal, black slash white part is rubber with a blue woven strap. All right, let's see. What the hell? Okay, let's see what Reddit had to say, huh? It's a drain plug that inflates and seals the drain during construction, or otherwise when needing to be sealed, and then deflated and removed. Or in this case, not removed. Cleaning out a house and came across this. The little cup at the top swings back and forth. Says it's from Japan. Oh boy. Oh, well, that's kind of cool looking. Hmm. Seems like the kind of thing you'd have to find in a Resident Evil game to unlock a door. All right, let's see. Tarnish resistant. Sure, sure. It's a bridal cup. Bridal cups are a Nuremberg, Germany tradition that date back to the 1400s. It represents the start of a long union between a man and a woman and is a symbol of faithfulness and good luck. The small swiveling cup and inverted hollow dress were designed to allow both bride and groom to drink simultaneously to toast their wedding. The groom would drink from the larger cup, the inverted skirt, and the bride would drink from the small swivel cup. Seems really strange. What is this cylindrical shape about 10 meters high with some sort of filter on top. Uh -huh. Weird looking. That's what it is. That's all I know. Looks like a giant maraca. 
It's a vent for something close by underground. If it's got filters, it's probably for a bunker that needed clean air, but it does not look like something from World War II. Looks far too modern for that. Well, bunkers have definitely been built since the end of World War II. Have a look in the area on Google Maps and see if you can find an entrance. Uh, you know what? Uh, I've been watching some Kane Pixel stuff. Maybe just leave it alone. Massive device that's been left outside my workplace for the last week. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, not scary looking at all. All of this stuff is super weird looking, man. I just don't know. The placard indicates it came from a mining company in Mexico. Maybe it's something off of a massive mining machine and is there to be fixed, if you do welding and all that. The packing list says truck frame, so I assume that's what it is, for a very large mining truck. 7495 is a model of Caterpillar mining equipment, so that could be it. Well, I think that one's pretty much solved. I was given this small silver object as a pre-wedding gift with no explanation. It has small lines engraved on it. Ha! Huh, it's a little odd, but then again, most of these are. I know it's made of silver, but that's it. It appears to be fairly old. I was born and raised in the US, but ethnically I'm mainly Norwegian, as is the gifter. I don't know if that's relevant, but after looking up Norwegian wedding customs, I thought it could be. Miniature sterling silver wedding vase. Ah, that's interesting. Double bowl sink with a hole connecting them. Tap does not reach the second bowl. All three sinks in this bathroom in a public space had one of these. What is it used for? You know what? Like many other questions we've been asked today, that's a good one. That is a very, very good question. Question. Uh, genuinely can't wrap my head around that. It's for schools. You can put a sponge there. Link is in German, unfortunately. Thank you so much, this has to be it. Still no clue why it's in a public bathroom at an event venue that's definitely not and never was a school, but maybe these sinks were on clearance or something. Anyway, thank you. Well, it's not restricted to schools, obviously. The sponges were meant for blackboards. If that's an event venue, they most likely had blackboards back in the day. At an event venue? Why would they, you know what, it doesn't matter. Found this and have no clue what it is. Black with gray cloth inside. Each sleeve looks like it'd hold something the size of a hot dog. Wasn't found with anything. <laughs> All right, interesting. It's for a coat hanger to make it padded for expensive coats, suits, whatever. This was my first thought. I wish this comment was higher because I'm almost certain it is. Especially when it was found in a closet. This was the closest I could find in two minutes. Ah, right. Okay, I gotcha. What does this plastic cap belong to? The tip comes off and covers a small hole. Huh, well, what's the answer, Reddit? Give it to us straight, baby. It's the mixing cap for a two part epoxy. Mixing cap for a tooth whitener. What? Yes, I used it a few months ago and it looks exactly like this. Same locking mechanism and everything. Now, yeah, some of these are a lot more boring than I thought they would be. What are these brown smelly things I found on the ground at my college campus? <laughs> Wait, what? All right. Yeah. Okay, a little gross. Those look like freezer dried liver treats for my dogs. My bet is someone was walking their dog and dropped the bag. Ah, why'd they need to bring that many with them? What are these little white things all over the fence? They're soft and only on this one section of fence. I wouldn't be touching them. I'm sorry. I have no idea. <laughs> this is some boring I meant that literally. You have ambrosia beetles boring into that section of the wood. What you're seeing here is their excrement, or frass. They're invasive and do a lot of damage to fruit and landscaping trees. If you're in the southeastern U.S., they're already here and known. There are other areas of the country where you should report them to your local agricultural office. Either way, now might be a good time to spray the fence and any surrounding trees for them. They'll spread from there once they come out of their boreholes in the spring. Ah, delightful. Found this nearly solid steel cylinder with my front tire and wheel at 70 miles per hour. What? Holy crap, that is a lot of material. Woo-wee! It's a hydraulic ram blank heading to a shop to get finish machined, polished and chromed. Big oops for transporter. That's my guess, too. The 11565 might refer to this bar stock item number. The 7.5 inch diameter means it could have been turned down to the dimensions OP gave. You know it's expensive when the price is call us. What? Can't figure out what this electronic item is. It blinks intermittently and is three inches tall and plastic. Okay. Oh, uh, is that not one of those really stupid fake doesn't work at all anti-bug devices or some sh**? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's an ultrasonic insect repellent. They don't do anything. That's not true. They annoy the hell out of me, which is something. Plus, they waste electricity. So multifunctional. Yeah, I used to think that those things worked. They f***ing don't. Is it a handle? What's this weird handle of a plastic beer cup in Prague? Pra Prague? Pragueguay? No, I'm just kidding. Seems a little small for a handle. Sorry for only drinking, uh, uh, okay. No one cares. But yeah, that is a really tiny little handle. I can't find one, but I would suspect it's a belt clip for carrying an empty cup. I think you're correct. Here's a somewhat smaller cup. Fourth picture shows it attached to a belt. Yeah, it's definitely for the waiter to carry on a metal rim. <laughs> What is this thing? The inside opens up to an empty space. It's disconnected from the desk below. Uh, I don't know. Why are you asking me, idiot? It's a bed desk. There's supposed to be a metal bar underneath that slots into the wooden tray, so you can prop it up at different angles for reading and stuff. It's like a more robust bed slash lap tray. Ten pound egg-shaped chunk of lead found in the woods, used as a doorstop. Cannonball? That's a weirdly shaped cannonball. I was given this by a friend as a cannonball because I'm a cartridge collector. Uh, it was found in the woods and his family used it as a doorstop. It's 10 pounds exactly. Not sure on diameter, so I used a... Uh, okay. And a 38 special cartridge for scale. What is this thing? It could be a downrigger weight. 8 pounds is common, but 10 is not unheard of. That's starting to sound more like it. I'm not convinced that it's ordinance related. Wish I knew what a downrigger weight was, but I guess that's the answer, right? What's this weird metal thing? Goes through both sides of the wall. House built in the 1910s? Well, was it or not? Why'd you have to put the question mark there? Also, it's a pipe for radiators. You idiot. 